project, project was to harass party members round the clock, seven days a week, never let up, to try to break us and cause us to snap or, you know, drop out under the pressure or, or start shooting at them, give them a reason to shoot us. But they didn't need a reason because over 40 something of were, were killed nationwide. And no, at no time, not a single day went by that the police didn't threaten to kill us. I can remember always keeping it back in my mind. Be careful of uh, what you drink, what you eat, who prepares it. Um, because he was drugged. Fred Hampton uh, was drugged. And don't, uh, where I spent the nights to, to, to lay my head and sleep, I would uh, be careful not to be in the same place every night, be so predictable that they could pull that same stunt on me. And so what I did was I uh, established myself about a, a half a dozen crash pads, and every night I was, you know, I'd sleep in a different place, and every week I would alter them around so that I could would establish a pattern. Ed Poindexter was wise not to establish a pattern. Less than two weeks after the deaths of Fred Hampton and Mark Clark in Chicago, after an FBI-inspired raid, Paul Young, the special agent in charge of the Omaha office, sent J. Edgar Hoover a memo outlining the secret plans the Omaha office was developing against the leaders of the Black Panthers. Counterintelligence 